Kim Townsville here, and no, my hair isn't pretty, gorgeous, perfect, or anything to talk about. My hair is old, my hair is colored, my hair is color removed, my color is my hair is damaged, my hair is in need of a good product to make it behave. This is what my hair looks like after blow drying with absolutely no product in it, no conditioning, no flat ironing, no nothing. So you can see I need a good product. This video review will show you my experiment with the Garnier Sleek and Shine Fortifying Shampoo and the Garnier Fructus Hair Mask. They're both inexpensive products that can be found at any department store or drugstore. Let me show you what my hair looked like before I started this experiment. This is what my hair looks like before starting. It's not horrible. I'm using the L'Oreal L5. It's super dry up under here because it's going, or it's, it is gray. Super dry up in there. Let's see if I can get some of the back. I definitely have some split ends back in there. Here's some notable pieces of information on the container. The Sleek and Shine Fortifying Shampoo has vitamin E and argan oil. It says it's part of a three-day system for the uh, three-day Sleek and Shine. You have to use the shampoo, their conditioner, and a stay in cream product. It has active fruit proteins, a three-day Sleek and Shine, as I said, with the, their system of shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in cream. It's argan oil. You just put it in there, wash, rinse it out. Here's some environmental information. Here's the ingredient list. Here's the manufacturer's information. I paid $2.97 for this container of the shampoo. It has 12.5 ounces in it. The I didn't get the shampoo that goes with the Sleek and Shine. I wanted something a little bit more intense, so I got the Garnier Fructis Soothing Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. I figured, hey, it's, they're both green, they kind of match. It's supposed to be 98% naturally derived ingredients. Vegan formula, biogra degradable formula, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial colorants. I paid $2.97 for this at Walmart. It has 3.4 ounces in the container. Here's some information on how to use it. It says there's three ways to use this. You can put it on as a mask after you shampoo, leave it on for a minute. And that's what I'm going to do because I Wash my hair, put it on as a mask, and then wash the rest of my body and rinse it out so it stays on for about a minute or two. You can use it as a conditioner after you shampoo, apply it to your hair from root to tip and rinse it, or you can put it on as a leave-in. After you wash your hair, you can put it on there for frizz control. And it is suitable for color-treated hair. Here's the ingredient list. And the manufacturer's information. Here's the consistency of the shampoo. It's not too thick. It's clear with no added colorants. Smells not overpoweringly anything, just really mild. This looks a little like cottage cheese. The hair mask does. It's a little bit thicker. So there's the consistency of the shampoo and the hair mask that I bought. Let's try this and see how it does on my hair. This is after my first wash with the Garnier Fructis, Fructis. And I need a haircut, I know that. My hair is so badly damaged because it's gray. And then I put um, color remover in it on the sides last year. And you can see it's really, really gray up under here. And then I put a little bit of sun in on it to try to help blend in the, um, the grays as I'm growing it out. So probably I need to cut it off like about right here. That's not going to happen, but 
They are super dry. Super frizzy. I had to blow dry it and flat iron it. This product did really well. It, my hair feels clean. I haven't decided about the smell yet. It smells a little, I don't know how to say this. It smells a little teenager-y, a little, a little young, maybe. And I flat ironed my hair. I put the seven drops of uh, argan oil on it, the L5, real L5 argan oil. And it did fine. It's just, I have normal flyaways, normal problems here with the um, little baby hairs wanting to stick up, and I didn't didn't flatten those or put any products under here. Normally this is super frizzy up under here and I didn't have to put any extra product on there but I'm happy about that. So, so, so far so good on the Garnier product. Now if it just make my hair grow right here. Now it looks so stringy. Wouldn't that be awesome? This is after the second washing with the Nutrice. I have I blow, I blow dried it, but I have not flat ironed it yet. So my hair is like super, super damaged, super frizzy on the on the ends, as you can see. But it was super easy to blow dry. It was uh, very easy to detangle. And I think I'm getting used to the smell. This is after my second use with the um, Garnier Fructis products and flat ironed it. My hair is still very damaged, as you can see. But for my damaged hair, I don't expect miracles. It's very stringy right here. But it feels softer. I washed it and let it go for like, I think, two or three days after the first time. And even by the end of the third day, it felt like real hair. It didn't feel dry or straw-like. It was, it felt like it was moist. It was uh, flowy. And actually, um, it's really frizzy up under here. Because I sleep with my hair up on top of my head. And when I take a shower, that part gets wet. So I just took a little bit of this after I got out of the shower. Put it on my hands and just did it like that before I blow dried it. And it really helped to um, keep all these little frizzies down, which I'm usually having to put product on there that dries it out. You can see I need some, some product up there to help these flyaways lie down. But I was using this instead of the... Um, the product I normally use to flatten it out, and I think it made it feel better, and it um, kept that kept the flyaways down all day long. So so far, I'm happy with I'm very happy with this. This is after putting a curling iron to it. I, again, I did not add any product. I um, just was wanting to see how the shampoo and conditioner would handle it, so it didn't. Um, Mat down those frizzies or anything like that, but it was super easy to style with no additional product on it. And this is usually just really wanting to pop out. So don't judge the product by my bad haircut. But I'm super happy with this so far. I'm pleasantly surprised, actually. I just got out of the shower. You can see how dry this is already, so I put a little bit of the the mask on there and I'm just going to coat it. That's how I've been handling these these little frizzies and it was working great. I take a little bit of the mask and rub it on a very fine tooth comb and I use that to help tame my frizzies. I don't like putting stuff in my hair that makes it feel stiff and this helps to control the frizzies but doesn't make my hair feel stiff. Better. I've been using the um, Garnier Freak Trace for a couple of weeks now and my hair feels super soft. I didn't have to put any product on my hair after, or this is, I guess I could have, but I didn't. I didn't put any oil in it or any uh, anti frizz. As you can see, my hair is super frizzy. Um, and this is just the shampoo and putting the mask on in the shower. 
And what I like about this product is that I can take a little bit and take these little things like that and kind of use it as a styling product. And it makes my hair soft instead of making it stiff. I really don't like putting, I really don't like products that make my hair stiff. And as I said, it helps to control the little, the little flyaways. It doesn't make them completely and totally go away, but it, it, it helps. And it keeps my hair soft. <laughs> that, that'll dry. Quit slinging my head around. So I'm, I'm liking these so far. Very happy. Well, and I'm still all crazy about the smell. It smells a little, I don't know, green for my taste.